Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an inner corset. Let's get into this. For this design, I actually draped it, but if you like doing flat pattern making, then you can do the same thing. Just follow the steps. First, let's get into the bra cups. There are different materials to use to make them. This material is called Fusible Fleece. I use a company called Pella. This company has two different types of Fusible Fleece. This one is style 987F. The F stands for Fusible. It feels very light. And this one is style 971F. As you can see, it's a little heavier. I usually use style 971F. I like the way it feels, plus it has a little shine to it. You can buy it in a package or by the yard for style 987F, but they only sell it by the yard for style 971F. This is the bra cup. To make it thick like this, I use four layers of fleece. Here are the four layers. This is how you do it. Lay the smooth side down first, then the glue side. After that, the smooth side, the glue side. Smooth side, the glue side. But this is the glue side, and then this is the smooth side. After that, iron all around it until all the layers are glued together. For this bra cup design, there is no seam allowance on the pattern. Here are the corset pieces. This is the front and the back. I always iron the seams flat. These are the inner corset pieces. For this video, I will be using the steel boning. I use my cutter to cut the steel boning. This is the best cutter I ever had. Go get you one, guys. The link is in the description. This fleece cup will go inside here. That's why I took off the seam allowance. It cannot touch the seam allowance around this cup. To keep these pieces together, you have to use a fusible bonding web, also called stitch witchery. It's used to bond fabric. Here are different types. You can use these as strips. Just put them across the cups. Some people like to call it hem and tape or hem and gum. These are the same, but it's just for heavy fabrics. And here are the sheets. You can buy them by the yard. Some come with paper backing and some don't. I don't really like this one. It feels too cheap. I like to use this one. You can tell it's a better material. Next, put your bonding web on top of the fleece. If you are using a the sheet, then you can turn it around, but hold on to both sides and put it inside the cup. Stuff it in. Make sure it doesn't touch the seam allowance around the cup. After that, cut off these pieces you don't need. From there, I put pins so it doesn't move. Then I iron it until I feel like it's glued together. This is how the front is going to look. The next step is to put your bone in. After that, then you sew the skirt to the corset. Next up is the inner corset. Take your original back patterns and make a copy. Then take the copy and go down one inch from the top of your pattern. Then put your seam allowance on top. So let me show you what I'm talking about. These are the original patterns. But for my design, I want a corset and a skirt together. So I trace the pattern from the waist up. I don't need the bottom. Now for the inner corset, all I need is the back pieces. Here is where I decided to start the corset loops. So I trace this part. I don't need this side. Once I traced it, this is how it's going to look. So for the inner corset, I went down one inch and curved it all the way around to the center back. These are the pieces I will be using. Next, cut your inner corset pieces. This is the main fabric, the lining, and the corset loops. If you would like to know how to make the corset loops, I will leave the link in the description. Sew the pieces together and put your bone in. This is the front and the back. For your lining, you're going to go down a half inch, that's your seam allowance, and from there, you're going to go down one inch. That's where you're going to start the inner corset. I suggest that you do a basting stitch here so it doesn't move. Next, take your lining and put it right side to right side and sew it. Do that to both sides. If you are enjoying this video so far, smash that like button, subscribe if you love it, and also share it with like-minded creators. All right, so after you sew the pieces together, it will look like this. For the lining, measure from the hem to where the zipper stops. 
Use that measurement so you can sew your lining closed. Sew the zipper part one fourth and the top a half inch. After that, turn the dress inside out. And here is the final look guys. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope this video helped you out. And if you make one, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your work. Also, did you know she has a twin sister? <laughs> they sexy, aren't they? Anyway, if you want to know how to make the green one, then click on this video right here and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, everybody.